Welcome back to the Book of Legends, everyone. We're going to Venice. Are you there yet? No, I'm on a gondola heading there now. A boat? You should be running there. The streets are water. Well, you should... Ah. Nah, nah, water streets. What? What are you waiting for, Zoe? You should hurry up and find the clue. Find the symbol of our lobby. Do they mean Freemasons? I guess so. So, let's find the Freemason symbol. So, do you see the Mason symbol? Actually, there are a lot of similar carvings and doodles here which look like that symbol. So, let's find them all. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, let's find all the symbols which kind of look like a, a Freemason symbol. This would be the only one that's authentic. All the others are uh, missing parts. All in all, you are going to find eight of these things. Eight of the symbols. Okay, B5 is going to be the last one here. So I found eight symbols. Can you send them via email? I'll check which ones are real Mason symbols. Yep, here you go. Okay, I'm comparing them with my database. These three aren't Mason symbols. These three also aren't. And this one's wrong too. So... This one left is the only true Freemason symbol. So what now? I don't know. Do you see something special about this symbol? Not much, but there is a small lever just beside that symbol. Can you pull it? It's too high. I'll need a pull. So I actually like this chapter on Venice. Unlike the other chapters, which basically sent you, you know, from one place to another place to another place, uh, all of the locations are going to be more connected here in Venice. So they're going to lead directly to each other. I found some useful items. I'll try to reach the lever now. All right. Pull the lever. What's that noise? I pulled the lever and a small bell started to ring. And then a big bell from the bell tower at Piazza San Marco answered. Oh, ho, ho, this is so cool! I'll call you from the bell tower. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, I mean, that's what I mean. It, it leads you directly to the next location, as opposed to... You know, oops, we found a picture of the Library of Congress. Guess we've got to go there. No, 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 no. It, it leads you directly to the location, not just like a picture of the next location. When Leo, Cancer, and Scorpio are guarded by three saints, the Heart of Iron will call for help. I think the Heart of Iron might be the bell! Agreed. I'll call you from the tower. So I'm here. First we must find Leo, Cancer, and Scorpio. Okay, so these symbols. I found them. They were zodiac symbols. What's next? Leo, Cancer, and Scorpio are guarded by three saints. I can try to find some saints. And put them on the zodiac signs. Okay, so we have Saint Michael the Archangel. Right there. I think this is Saint Mary Magdalene. She's holding a skull, so it could be her. And the final saint... I don't see anywhere, so let's just use a hint. Final saint is over here. I think that's Saint Perjurin. A secret opening. What's inside? Okay, this gives us a key. I found a key. Great! Open it! Open what? I don't know. Is there something to open? <laughs> oh, Charleston. The key fit in the cage guarding the bell mechanism. That makes sense. Can you start it to move the bell? The crank is missing. Crank is right here on the bench. Hi! What's that terrible sound? Well, what happened is this. We've got blinking lights. I see it. Blinking lights. Can you send me a photo of what you see? I'm sending now. Give me a sec. So, I'm comparing the photo with some images on the internet. Here we go. The place with the blinking lights is the Venice Library. So now we're going to the Venice Library. All right. So the library is here. Cool. Another riddle. 
These guys apparently had too much free time. I actually like it. It's such a great adventure. Oh, really? I hope you enjoy it. Is everything okay on your side? Internet connection smooth? Got enough beverages with high volume of sugar? Oh, yeah, it's quite... Oh, hang on, I have to go now. What? Hello? Charleston! Hi, I'm back. Any trouble? Just a pizza delivery. What? And yes, there is trouble. They forgot the extra pepperoni. Sometimes I really doubt that you understand our situation. So, <laughs> okay. where are we? A Freemason was born in the rose with sun in his heart. Freemason, rose, sun. Let's try finding more Mason symbols and symbols of roses or suns. Okay, okay, that was kind of hilarious. <laughs> Uh, so this chapter, uh, I'm in this level, you just find a bunch of roses and suns and Freemason symbols, which are just scattered all around. Let me see. Um, there's one. Yeah, it is funny. It talks about <laughs> missing the pepperoni. I cannot believe... They forgot the extra pepperoni. That That is a shame. It probably is going to ruin his entire night. So I believe there are two more Freemason symbols I have to find. There's another one. Yeah, I think we, we have four Freemason symbols. So let me see if I can find this final one. I can't help but feel it's over here because I didn't find anything over here. But I, I, I work at a place um, that makes pizza, so <laughs> extra pepperoni is kind of crazy because um, what happens when you put a pepperoni like, you know, on pizza in the pizza oven, what happens is the pepperoni kind of shrinks. So you have to put extra pepperoni on top of a pizza no matter what. Okay, so I found five rose symbols, four mason symbols, and six sun symbols. So what now? There is a big circle with numbers on the floor and two more numbered circles inside it. A Freemason was born in the rose with sun in his heart. The Freemason is inside the rose. The sun is inside the mason. We can draw a parallel with three circles. And the numbers of the symbols can correspond with the numbers in the circles. Okay, that's confusing. That is confusing. What they mean to say is um, you're clicking six, uh, four, five. This is really cool. Just opened up. Awesome! Really awesome! They lead to some catacombs. Awesome. Yeah, this is all just awesome. And uh, also, if the pepperoni is too small, the ends of the pepperoni will just fold up and it's weird. So, I, I, I mean, um, obviously, it's not that difficult if you work in a pizza place long enough. You know, you know how to get how much pepperoni to put on a pizza and, and how large the pepperoni should be. That's all I'm trying to say. Four rings to be pulled. The order will be restored. Huh. Strange. So, where are we? I don't know. How can you not know? It's dark in here. Okay. So, is there any... A switch, maybe? No. No switch in these bloody dark catacombs. Torch, maybe? A torch? Hmm. Let me look. And this is kind of cool, the whole dark area. We're going underneath the library. I like it. I think it's cool. I found a torch. Good. See if you can find a holder. Right here? So, where are we? I said I don't know. How can you still not know? It's still dark in here. Are you? Give me a break. I need to find something to light up the torch. I found some matches. They look prehistoric. Cool. Try them. Much better. Great. So what's the book say again? Four rings to be pulled. The order will be restored. Four rings. We need to find these four rings. All right, four rings. One, two, three, four. Four? Oh, oh I missed this one. Okay, I got them. Okay, now pull them. What? Four rings to be pulled. We need to pull the rings. How should I do it? I have them in my hands. Oh. You need to find places where to put them and then pull them. Oh, crap. This is really silly. Yeah, but that's why I love the dialogue in this game. It's silly. Zoe and Charles are silly. I attached the rings to some 
chains. They fit. Now we must pull them. All of them? Uh, hmm, probably. Hey, you better be sure. I don't want to end up at the bottom of some snake pit. <sighs> Four rings to be pulled. The order will be restored. Order. The order. The right order, maybe? The right sequence? Do you see some markings or symbols? I do, actually, right here on the door. It looks like some sequence. So pull the symbols from top to bottom. So diamond, circle, triangle, and square. The door opens. Great. It's written here that it leads to the Basilica of St. Marcus. Woohoo! And it looks like this is going to be an extra long video. Hi, I guess the puzzles in Venice are a bit tougher than the ones we've had in previous videos. Cool. Cool. Three saints are crying. Their meaning was stolen from them. What meaning? I don't know. Let's take a look at them. So, there are three saints here. Virgin Mary on the left, Saint George on the right, and Jesus Christ in the middle. And their meaning was stolen from. Virgin Mary should carry the baby Jesus. Jesus should carry the cross. What about St. George? He should be carrying a sword. Okay, let's see if we can find these. Okay, there's the, there's the cross. There's the baby Jesus. And the sword is at E5, so it's here. I found them. I'll try to put them back in their original place. Okay. That was just right on the border between E and D, wasn't it? Wow. Okay, so sword here for St. George, baby Jesus, in the arms of the Virgin, and the cross over here. I put them back where they belonged. A small metal panel on the left wall slid and revealed a lock. A lock? Actually, four locks. The oldie but a goodie Templar game, find four keys. I guess so. Man, whoever hid the sword Excalibur really loved their keys and, and brain teasers. Really, really did. And the final key is here. The panel opens. There's some carving or something like that. What exactly? It's in Chinese. Can you send it via email? Sure, I'm sending it now. It's in Chinese. Oh, really? I guess you're going to China. Oh, really? Hang on, I'm checking online. For what? A ticket? I didn't say I'm going. The signs on the carving means the Forbidden City. Lovely. Can you check online? For what? A ticket. <laughs> okay, so I guess, you know what? I do like this Venice segment. It's a nice chapter. It's an extra long chapter, apparently. and. Jo Zoe and Charles are funny, and, and, and we've got more connected puzzles. So, uh, cool, cool chapter. 